A chilling terror attack foiled by police. The Coast Guard officer arrested for planning the attack after stockpiling weapons and compiling a hit list of prominent Democrats and journalists is heading to court this morning. Our Chief Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas in Washington with the details. Good morning, Pierre. George, good morning. FBI officials are describing this as a truly alarming case. And if the allegations are true, terrifying. Today, the FBI plans to make an urgent appeal to keep this officer of the Coast Guard locked up pending trial because they believe he's that dangerous. This morning, Coast Guard Lieutenant Christopher Paul Hassan will appear in court, accused of plotting mass murder. According to the FBI, Hassan, who also served in the Army National Guard and Marines beginning in 1988, stockpiled these weapons, including 1,000 bullets, handguns, and assault rifles. All this stored in his small Maryland apartment, they believe possibly as part of a dream to, quote, murder innocent civilians on a scale rarely seen in this country. It was almost like he was a ticking time bomb waiting to go off. The FBI claims Hassan is a white nationalist, bluntly calling him a domestic terrorist. They say the 49-year-old had a possible hit list, including the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, Senators Elizabeth Warren, Kamala Harris, and TV personality Joe Scarborough. Accused of secretly plotting online, Googling information, and asking ominous questions like, where do most senators live in D.C.? Do senators have Secret Service protection? Are Supreme Court justices protected? Prosecutors also allege that Hassan studied the strategy of Olympic Park bomber Eric Rudolph, noting that he needed to, quote, have a way to get out, to escape crime scenes. And they claim he had musings of genocide, writing at one point he was looking for, quote, a way to kill almost every last person on the earth, including using biological weapons, a plague, and attacking the food supply. Hassan was arrested on gun and drug violations, but today the FBI is asking for incarceration without bail because they believe those charges are, quote, the tip of the iceberg. Michael? All right, I'm sure they are, Pierre. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.